Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we will be talking about the cameras on the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. So Samsung Galaxy A14 5G is the latest smartphone announced in India. In fact, we did the unboxing and first impression and also we did the charging test. Now let's talk about the cameras on this device. Uh, as usual, you get a triple camera setup and again a selfie camera is also included. Now let's talk about uh, how the camera setup is and what all features it offers and also see uh, the camera quality of by the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. So before getting into the video, if this is the first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So first let's talk about the hardware. Now you get uh, a 50 megapixel primary sensor with f1.8 aperture, then you get uh, a 2 megapixel macro sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now it does not come with uh, an ultra wide, so that is something which is missing, but you get a 2 megapixel macro sensor and a depth sensor. And on the front panel, uh, you get an 8 megapixel selfie camera. So let's see how uh, good the camera samples is. So let's have a look at the camera samples taken with this device and see how it performs in the segment. So first, let's have a look at the daylight captures. Now looking at the daylight captures, the 50 megapixel camera does a good job in terms of details, colors and sharpness levels. You can see the processing of the image is good. The color balance is also great. The colors also look natural and they do not oversaturate. Even the sky colors looks more or less accurate. The contrast is also maintained pretty well. The sharpness levels are also good for a budget device and this is evident when you pixel peep. There is also scene optimizer which you can toggle from the settings and optimizes the shot based on the scene. The dynamic range is also nice and wide and is acceptable for a phone in this price segment. Overall, the 50 megapixel camera does a good job for this segment and users won't complain much. Sadly, at this price segment, it misses out on the ultra wide angle camera. Now moving on to the close-up images, here also the details are good and the 50 megapixel camera offers good depth of field. The sharpness levels are good and the detailing and colors also good. The primary camera once again delivers good details in close-up images. The phone also comes with macro camera which is a 2 megapixel shooter and this is where things are not so great. The colors looks washed out and the details are average and there is a lot of noise in the images too. Almost all of the brands are now using the 2 megapixel camera for macros and this is definitely not serving the purpose. Let's move on to the portraits. Once again, the primary camera does a good job with portraits. The skin tones are good and so is the sharpness levels. The edge detection could be definitely better but not bad although there are a few missed edges. Now moving on to the low light captures. Here you can see in indoor artificial light there is decent amount of details available and the sharpness is also acceptable. But when light drops further, you can see noise coming in. Switching on the night mode does improve things but there is definitely noise. But considering the price segment it is being offered, this is decent experience from the primary camera although there is still room for improvement. Finally moving on to the selfies, the 13 megapixel selfie camera does a good job with selfies. We really like the way it reproduces the skin tones and the sharpness levels and details are also great. The dynamic range is also pretty good. Overall we like the selfie experience but again selfies are more of a personal choice. There is also a group selfie option included. The phone also comes with portrait mode for selfies and it does once again good job although there is uh, room for improvement and the edge detection is in perfect. Let's move on to the video recording. The phone supports only uh, one resolution that's 1080p at 30fps. The video quality is pretty good with good colors, sharpness levels and EIS is also offered. The stability of the footage is also quite good for the price segment it is being offered. So this is the front facing camera sample taken with the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from this full HD video recording taken with the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. So summing up, how does the Galaxy A14 5G perform in terms of camera in this price segment? While there are a few shortcomings like no ultra wide angle camera and lack of slow motion support, but whatever the camera offers, it does well. With good daylight captures, good close-up shots, portraits and decent low light experience with great selfie experience, it is a good package for what it offers. The macros are not so great and the lack of ultra wide is definitely a miss. 
So that was the camera review of the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. So what do you guys think about the camera on the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Dhanbal signing off with the camera review of the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.